Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Friday, October the 27th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And we are following John F. MacArthur Jr.'s excellent devotional book, Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's entry is entitled, Learning Truth. From scripture, we read the following. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. From the pastoral letter, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. The main thought is scripture is a manual of divine truth. Pastor MacArthur writes this. This month we've considered many benefits of scripture. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 lists four more that will be the focus of our studies as we draw this month to a close. Teaching truth, reproving sin and error, correcting behavior, and training in righteousness. We've touched on each of those to some extent in our past studies, but they warrant additional discussion from this verse, which is scripture's most concise statement on its own power and purpose. First, the Bible is profitable for teaching. The Greek word translated teaching refers more to content than to the process of teaching. Scripture is God's manual of divine truth for patterning your thoughts and actions. As a believer, we all have the capacity to understand and respond to Scripture. And that's because the Holy Spirit indwells everyone who believes in Christ and imparts spiritual discernment, wisdom, and understanding. It says so in 1 John chapter 2, verse 27. I'm going to read that. As for you, the anointing you received from him remains in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, and as that anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as it has taught you, remain in him. Continuing, you have the mind of Christ. All believers have the mind of Christ. It says so in Paul's letter to the Corinthians, his first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 16. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2, 16. Continuing with Pastor MacArthur's thoughts. But having the ability to understand spiritual truth doesn't guarantee you'll exercise that ability. God said to the Israelites through the prophet Hosea, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It was from the book of the prophet Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. God's truth was available to them, but they ignored it and lived in disobedience. I've heard many people lament that they could have avoided much grief if only they had known the Bible more thoroughly, if only they had taken the time to learn what God expected of them in a particular situation. Perhaps you felt that way. The best way to avoid making that mistake in the future is to faithfully, prayerfully, patiently, and thoroughly saturate your mind with biblical truth. Now and do it now, and then disciple yourself to live according to its principles. Now that's the challenge of a lifetime, but it's the only way to profit from biblical teaching and to avoid unnecessary heartaches. I'm going to add parenthetically, and doing this in community is what, is what being part of the body of Christ is all about. I and Pastor... Uh, MacArthur pray that you will be encouraged today as you study God's word and diligently apply it to your life. Dear friends, I, um, I commend you for taking a few short minutes out of your day to listen to me read uh, this devotional reflection from Pastor MacArthur. 
He has suggestions for prayer and for further study attached to this devotional reflection, and I've uh, placed those in the description for this video so that you have them and so that you can read them and interact with them and glean the, the uh, additional knowledge and understanding and encouragement from them that they provide. I pray you'll do so. Until the next time we can be together, and may that be tomorrow, to hear the next installment from his devotional book, Pastor MacArthur's devotional book, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.